Caution, sliding doors. The subscriber is now out of the carriage. Several years ago, when in a subway, you might as well switch off your cell phone. There was no possibility to use it, as radio waves do not penetrate in the ground enough to secure a mobile connection. However, in many subways of the world, cell phones do work. How come? Securing the mobile connection on the ground is complicated and costly. There is a whole labyrinth of passages, platforms and escalators, a vast number of screening metal constructions, requiring special equipment and kilometers of connecting cables. There are two ways of securing mobile connection on the ground. The cell phones, both on the ground and on the surface, work from basic stations, responsible for connecting to every particular subscriber. The first way is about installing a plastic cell phone station in every metro station. The station being connected to the surface secures the functioning of the mobile connection in limited subway zone. The white blocks of the stations are visible on the escalator and in subway passages. On the subway stations, they are disguised so as not to spoil the architecture. Sometimes there is a number of mobile stations in one metro station. For instance, an additional one may be found in the upper foyer. The second way is about one mobile station serving several metro stations. There is a special equipment on the platform, repeaters, receiving signals from the telephones and transmitting them into the basic network along speed channels. These channels are presented in modern networks by optical fiber. It has a range of advantages over the coaxial cable, such as low extent of attenuation. Optical fiber translators, securing connection in the platforms, escalators, passages and adjacent tunnel areas, bases that is, are installed on the transfer stations, retranslators being installed on the neighboring stations. This way of organizing the network allows to redistribute its resources, if necessary, and it may be less costly, as there are fewer basic stations. But what about the tunnels? There is no place for antenna there, and even if you put one into some niche, it will only work in a small sector of the tunnel, practically in the range of the direct site. However, tunnels in the subway are not always straight. That is why the so-called radiating cable is laid inside the tunnel. The radiating cables look like common wire, but it works as basic station antenna. However, this is not the only solution. Sometimes, two-way direct antenna with high amplification coefficient, placed inside tunnels are used. If the tunnel is very long and sinuous, several retranslators are used. If the signal is weak, low noise emitting amplifiers are implied. Installing a basic station at the ground is rather costly. It costs two or three times as much as an analogous station on the surface. And taking into account that people hardly ever use cell phones in the subway, it does not pay off. The transmitters must be installed and tuned in such a way that the subway ceilings will not interfere with the signals. However, for the operators, increasing the zone of the coverage is crucial. There are examples of joining forces to lower the costs. For instance, abroad, multi-operator multi-stand coverage is sometimes used. One optic fiber cable is used by several operators upon agreement. Operators in our country use different, at times even unique ways of organizing the network. They have not come to terms yet. As a result, different operators have different coverage. If the display of your phone shows that only extra calls can be completed, this means your operator does not provide connection in this particular zone. However, the signal of another operator is available, which will allow you to call the emergency service if necessary. The subway servers are specific. People talk less on the ground because of the noise, but they send more messages. Many meetings take place in the subway and you have to wait for a long time. That is why the operators are working on developing a mobile internet service, EDGE 3G. 
What is remarkable, the speed of connection was found to be faster underground than above during the tests. As the level of radio noise is lower, an antenna screen equipment is absent in the subway. Stay in touch everywhere.